I'm here with Nathan Ray. We're here at Nikon at the Innovation Center in Sheffield. Now we're talking about a product called Tool ID, and I don't think many people really know this. This really exists, but sure. it's actually it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a game changer, isn't it? So. First of all, can you explain to us what Tool ID is, please? Absolutely, Rodan. So Tool ID actually is a very simple solution. And the idea is to transfer measured tooling offsets from a presetter, so where you're setting your tools offline, over to your machine's NC control without any human operator input. So there's no risk of a slip of the finger, a sticky button, a, a one instead of a seven. Uh, the, whole, the whole purpose of Tool ID is to make sure that your tools end up as they should be in the machine and minimize any machine errors, issues, bumps, collisions, the, the sort of thing that we as machinists like to avoid. Because I think quite a lot of the, the, pe the things people are worried about with presetters is operator error, people typing in the wrong numbers, and this will hopefully eliminate that while still providing the great advantages you get from setting your tools offline. It absolutely will, and the elbow control in can range of presetters, you can put tooling tables, you can put offset uh, ranges, tolerances, theoretical values. So you're, you're minimizing that chance of somebody getting something wrong, and if they do, flagging that to the operator before that tool ends up in the machine. Brilliant, so you're gonna give us a quick demo on Tool ID right now. Cool, so can you just first show us what the tool holder looks like? So the change in the tool holder for Tool ID is a simple data matrix QR code. All that does is provide a serial number for this tool, okay? So every tool has a unique ID. When we put that tool into the presetter, we scan it so the presetter knows which tool we have in the spindle. We measure it, scan again to confirm. Same again when we get to the machine. Scan it straight into the machine. So it's all about that safety and eliminating operator error. It's all about the safety. Brilliant. Absolutely. Okay, so let's show us a demo. So what we'll do, tool goes into the presetter spindle bring that tool into view. You'll see here that the preset has picked up uh, the edges, so the X and Z of that tool. We're gonna click the scan button and using our data matrix scanner on the presetter, we're gonna scan that QR code. You'll see on the screen that the presetter has then populated the tool number, the previous Z and, and R value in this case. We can update those with a simple click of Z and X and DNC to write back. The preset is going to ask us to scan that QR code again, again as a safety check to make sure that the tool is the same tool that we loaded in the spindle. We haven't accidentally scanned a, a rogue QR code. And then that data is saved centrally in the database, ready for loading into the machine tool. Brilliant, let's go over to the machine. So we're here at the machine now, Nathan. What are we gonna do next? So next we're gonna scan the data matrix QR code from the tool and load automatically the offset straight into the tooling table. So in this particular example, we're using a FANUC controller, uh, but we're absolutely not limited to FANUC. So whether you've got Mazatrol, Siemens, Heidenheim, for example, uh, any of the above and a range of others. But for today's demonstration, we're gonna be using FANUC. If I just draw your attention to, we're gonna load into, into pocket three, you'll see we've got zero offsets in our, our length and diameter. We'll come up to the small IPC, which is the addition that Tool ID adds to your machine tool. Select our machine from the list and load a tool. We'll be prompted to scan the QR code, just like on the presetter. Our offsets will appear, and we follow the on-screen prompts to load that tool, and as if by magic, our offsets have appeared in, in the tooling table. They're there in tool three. It's almost like magic, isn't it? It absolutely is. Uh, it's intended to be very straightforward and simple, uh, and really, intended to make the operator's life easier.